Hey, it's me, Davy Weathercock and oh. Olive. Shell is sleeping in again. She's a little upset because she was displaced this weekend. Moved into the other. We moved into the trailer while Uncle Gene and Uncle John were here. And Uncle Gene, he's not a pet lover. As a matter of fact, he works with uh, people who uh, have bad relations with chickens and uh, he was a little uneasy about Olive but Olive fell in love with Gene when a chicken falls in love with you he falls in love with your head or she falls in love with your head because the rest of you uh, as far as a chicken is concerned they don't really understand what it is but a head is recognizable as a kind of chicken so she was up here snuggling with, with Uncle Gene, pecking at his hearing aid. <laughs> uh, but then we had to go next door that night and she was so upset that she couldn't stay here with Uncle Gene and Uncle John, those dear old guys. And she tried to sleep on my face all night. Neither of us slept very much. Finally got her to sleep beside me, but now she's not going to get up. But anyway, we're going to go on. There, there will be weather. There will be weather. Weather. Or not. But you know, the weather is not what's going to happen. Weather is what's happening today. So, aside from the fact that you can't predict the weather, really, except may possibly from bird entrails or something, but the weather today doesn't tell you what the weather tomorrow is going to be, and who cares? Because it's the weather today that counts. And it's weird, isn't it? It is. It's, it's really weird. No, I can't tell you how to predict the weather. I can only tell you how to be happy and just love your chicken. It's as, it's as simple as that. But so, to get to the weather, the most important thing in the weather happens every day, and that's the sunset. It's more important than the sunrise because the sunrise is not a dangerous situation. The sunset is dangerous. A lot of people die. That moment between the dark and the day, it's a dangerous time, like 4 o'clock in the morning also. And people want to know. Now there's somebody at my door. We're going to have to re return. Okay, here we are again. That was my, my friend's... Uh, the, the, uh, from the kingdom, <laughs> they're uh, the witnesses of uh, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, I think it is, and they're, t and, uh, and, uh, they're telling me uh, that a hard rain is going to fall, but uh, I'll, I'll leave the prediction to them. And right now, as I said, we're going to talk about, uh, I'm going to show you what happens at Sundown. And why the sunset is itself. This is not a pathetic gospel. The sunset is lonesome. Why is a sunset lonesome? It's lonesome. Well, I'll tell you right now. It's lonesome because that you can hear if you stop and listen. Not every sunset is pulsing, and not every sunset is beautiful, but every sunset sucks down on a few soul. And if you listen, you can hear that. You can hear the sound of souls. But Olive. Are you, are you, come, are you with us, Olive? Uh, yeah. So, uh, it was, it was poignant the other day when we were out there with the camera and, and uh, yes, here comes Olive. Come on, Olive. We got, we got there. Uh, in uh, fantasy now. No, I mean, we'll go out there. Uh, 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 what I mean is, I'll show you the, the, the footage that we took recently. So, Olive? Yeah, yeah, Olive's getting up. So, good morning. We'll explain. Good morning. We'll explain. Huh. 